Joining me, joining me via Skype is Mr. Liu Zhiting, a senior fellow from the Chongyang Institute for Financial Studies at Renmin University of China. Mr. Liu, welcome to the program. This is such a vast region we're talking about here, Asia Pacific, made up of countries with very different policies and, frankly, different levels of economic development. What remain the challenges to the region reaching the common prosperity? That the Chinese president has mentioned in APEC meetings. We have to see that the prosperity is the common design or common purpose of all government and all nations in Asia. So that's why all governments now in Asia are trying best to realize their purpose of the economic prosperity. So that's why President Xi Jinping has made. His remarks is very important that to say that China will do its best to promote and stimulate and help the Asian countries to realize the common prosperity. Of course, we have to meet many different challenges. I think the three major challenges we have to deal with. The first, the different countries they have different conditions of economic development, and not from nature. Also, from the economic, from law system, they have different preconditions and the environment. So this is a big challenge for all countries to do the same project. And the second is the international environment, especially the international community from some influence from Western countries. They do not like to see that the prosperity、uh, to be realized in Asian countries. They will do something that to. Destroy or try to damage such cooperation,、mm. and the third is very important for us that all different countries will have different、uh, ability to fight against the risks, especially from the resources and the financial resources. The the risk of how to deal with different countries they have different ability. So in order to realize this. Come on,、mm. uh, prosperity purpose. We have to do our best to cooperate with all countries in this field. Mr. Liu, one of the highlights of this year's APEC meeting is inclusive development. What does that mean at this stage, faced by the common health crisis that we all share? And how can China、uh, play its role in making this goal a reality? Actually, China will play and has already played a very important role in the economic cooperation with all countries in the world. When we are talking about inclusive growth or inclusive development, that means that inclusive development comes from inclusive cooperation. So that's why President Xi Jinping has reiterated the importance of cooperation during his speech. So inclusive cooperation will produce, will promote the inclusive, the、uh, development in this area. So in this way, that China's role is so important, is very key. When we see that the signing, successful signing of RCEP, that shows that China has done its best to persuade all the people, all nations, to agree and to stand at the common. And、points to solve all disputes among our country, among different nations. So this is shows that the fundamental principle of China's this inclusiveness.、Mm. So inclusiveness, as we know, that this is a typical Chinese philosophy. Only one way, inclusiveness, we can do all things that with different countries, even they have different political system. Different culture, different religions. So inclusiveness is the key to solve all differences. So that's why we see and we we have attached the very important role that、mm. China can play. China can still further play more important role to realize the inclusiveness and the inclusive development in the future.、Mm. Mr. Liu Zhiting, appreciate. Your insight. Thanks so much for making time for us.